Hello everyone, welcome to another session from Bioschool. This is your educator Gayatri. So in today's session, we are going to discuss about antigenicity and immunogenicity. Are they same thing? If you want to know, then please do watch the video till the end. So let's begin. You know, antigenicity and immunogenicity are the properties of antigen. So let's know what is immunogenicity. Immunogenicity, it is the ability of a substance to induce cellular or humoral immunoresponse. Okay. On the other hand, antigenicity, it is the ability to bind with the final product or the final result of the immunoresponse. Immunogenicity means ability to induce. Okay, here the body is actively working to generate the immunoresponse. But in antigenicity, antigenicity stays the ability to bind with the final product of immunoresponse. Okay, let's say, okay, if there is an antigen, antigen, if it induce the B cell, okay, humoral immunity or T cell, that is the cell mediated immunity to generate the immunoresponse. Okay, so here the B cell, it will produce what? It will produce antibody. But in antigenicity, here the antigen, which will bind to the final product of immunoresponse. So what is the final product of immunoresponse? It is the antibody in humoral immunity. So here the antigen it will directly bind to the final product of immunoresponse that is antibody. Okay. Or antibody or the receptors on T cells. Hope now you are clear about the term antigenicity and immunogenicity. Immunogenicity means here the body is actively acting to generate immuno response against the particular pathogen okay so body will work and it will here the antigen it will induce the b cell or the t cell humoral humoral and cell mediated immunity to generate the antibody but in antigenicity here the antigen it is not generating immuno response but it directly binds to the final product of immuno response that is antibody okay so and another difference is that to be an immunogen, its molecular weight should be higher. So, immunogens have molecular weight greater than 10,000 Dalton. But the antigens, they have low molecular weight. For example, haptin. Haptins are antigens, but they are not immunogens. Why? Because of their low molecular weight as well as chemical simplicity. But when haptens combines with the carrier protein, carrier protein it has a high molecular weight protein, then the haptens they becomes immunogens, generate immunogenicity. Okay. Okay. So haptin when it will be immunogenic, haptin it will be immunogenic when it combines with carriers okay so hope now you have a clear idea about antigenicity and immunogenicity these two terms are frequently used in immunology so all immunogens like all immunogens are antigens but all antigens are not immuno Gen. For example, haptin. Haptin, though it is an antigen, but not immunogen. When it becomes immunogenic? When it combines with the carrier protein. So, I am hoping that whenever now you will come across these two terms, immunogenicity and antigenicity, then you will not find it hard to understand. If you like this video, then please do share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Bye-bye. See you in my next video. Till then, keep learning.